Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Magnetis Brewing. They sent this to me guys. This is their Born Yesterday Pale Ale Fresh Hop Unfiltered 2019 One Hitter Series. And they've done several different versions, filtered, un unfiltered, uh, born yesterday, born again yesterday. So they're just playing around and doing some different stuff with the name and probably some different hops or something like that, guys. And the little cheat sheet they sent uh, along with the beer. They're chilling the air and leaves on the ground, but fall is really the season for Lagunitas born yesterday. It says it's 7% ABV, and it's actually 7.2. This newborn version of a reborn pale, a newer, new Dogtown pale with fresh addition. We added some wet lupulin drenched, unkilned, whole cone, fresh picked, and rushed straight from the Yakima hops for your immaculate reception. This unfreaking filtered, wetter than wet beer has 11 pounds per barrel of Simcoe Citra Mosaic and in indigenous Catawampus. I guess that's the hop. <laughs> uh, bursting forth with intense citrus and tropical notes while not leaving behind the essence of the plant itself. The spirit wants to be wants to clear your silence and blow your mind. The spirits are owed to hop farmers and what they do, capturing all that is the hop flower. Okay, uh, basically it's the same thing uh, here on uh, untapped. Uh, it says deliver the resulting little brew in 24 hours. I guess that's from hop on the vine to beer being brewed with it. So uh, 7.2% according to untapped 60 IBUs. I don't think it's got the IBUs written on the label here anywhere guys. I did not notice it earlier. I don't see it. Uh, but they are still doing uh, no they're not either. It says uh, born 10 7 19 so it's actually got a month day a year on it uh, so that's good these guys are known for doing those silly codes so maybe they switched up maybe my complaining has finally reached some deaf ears uh, I'm hoping all of them are going to be like that they're going to give us a month day in a year and so the 235th day of 2019 or the 300th day of 2019 you got to go find out when that was uh, month day of the year is much better for us guys you ain't got to get your phone out and try to figure out what damn day was put in the bottle uh, so that's all uh, when I go over to uh, beer advocate they say it's 7.7 .7. so again uh, they've done several different variations of born yesterday unfiltered filtered born again and all that so it is what it is our guys so uh, uh, we've read everything we want to read off of that and so it is time uh, a bright green cap on this one and See what it is being a pale ale. It shouldn't have a lot of bitterness. It says 60 IBUs to me guys That's a little over as far as being a pale ale. That is getting to the IPA IBUs so they can call it what they want I mean they can call a brown dog a black one if it's dark enough. I guess I don't know so the brewers are uh, can call porter stouts and stout porters and and pale ales IPAs and IPAs pale ales. So uh, I mean, it's up to them to just, just, just say what they're going to call it. But I think 60 IBUs is getting to the upper end of the pale category. Uh, there are IPAs that don't have quite that IBUs. I've seen pale uh, IPAs down in the 40s and 50s before. So it's up it's all up to them what they want to call it. So. About a quarter finger of head on that pour. It is uh, fairly cloudy, especially in the big pole part of the glass. I can see light down through here. So definitely not in the New England style by any means, but they're telling us it's unfiltered. 
Hmm. I guess we got to take them for that word too. To the nose we go. Very nice hop presence, guys. Nice citrusy notes, and they've used some really nice hops with the citron, mosaic, and Shamco. Uh, three of my favorite hops. A little bit of grapefruit, pine, pineapple. Very citrusy, hints of orange, and maybe a little even some uh, tropical fruit notes in there, guys. So let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everyone at Lagunitas. Guys, the IBUs don't taste like they're 60. If they are 60, they taste like more they're in the 45 to 50 range. It's not very bitter at all. Got a nice sweetness to it. A lot of hot presence. Very pleasant to drink, guys. That is a smooth, easy drinking beer for 7.2 percenter. Alcohol is very well hidden. That is a tasty beer, guys. Uh, it is a very tasty beer, guys. Uh, and being 7.2%, it's into the range where I would probably purchase something like this. Uh, so, uh, and it probably isn't real super expensive. I'd say you ought to be able to pick this up for around $10 or, or so, or a six pack of it. So, uh, that's a tasty beer, guys. It is. It's right out of the fridge also, so we're gonna sip on it, and we'll come back and give it a grade and see what the 2019 edition gets. Alright guys, I'm back. I've been sipping it for a while. Very tasty beer, guys. Uh, it is uh, very easy to drink. I don't think it's quite to 60 IBUs, or if it is, it does not taste like it, guys. Uh, it doesn't have that strong bitterness uh, that a lot of IPAs have and double IPAs have. Uh, so it, it doesn't taste like a 60 IBU beer to me. It's very easy to drink. Alcohol is well hidden. A lot of citrusy hot aromas and taste uh, very well done uh, I would buy this beer guys uh, it is very pleasant to drink um, and if you don't like the bitterness that a lot of IPAs and double IPAs have this uh, pale ale would be a good one but this one is a very hot forward pale ale uh, but still very very tasty and I'm glad they've gone away from the code and putting a uh, month day and a year on it now so that means uh, it goes a little bit uh, further in my book whether I would purchase it or not. Uh, a lot of people don't know what all those numbers mean. I do when they put those codes on there. But still, it's much easier when they put a month in a year. So hopefully they're, they're going to do them all like this now. So I will choke. very tasty beer guys and we'll probably go against the grade on this one a little bit but now that they're putting the month day and year on it and it got the ABV on the front of the label it's a tasty beer guys I'm gonna give this an A grade 95 right down the middle of the A category and since uh, Beer Advocate has it listed as 7.7 .7, which is incorrect and we have 7.2 at untapped which it is uh, we're gonna go with them and not even look at the grade on beer advocates since they have the wrong information. Wrong information? Really? So, uh, seems to be happening more and more and a lot more often uh, on that site since they clump them all together guys uh, where a lot of times uh, Untapped has them. Uh, the right information for what you're drinking the year or whatever. Uh, I'll give it a 95. They have it at 4.06 which is in their A minus scale. I think it's a little better than that. Uh, from what I'm tasting, uh, as fresh as it is, it's only a couple of weeks old. Hell, it's not even that old. I think when I say the date was on it, 10-7, uh, and today is 10-14. It's a week old. It doesn't get any fresher or tastier than that, uh, being a week old. Uh, and I've had it, I think I got it on Friday, and today is Monday. So I've had it a couple of days. Uh, so it was less than a week old when I got it and you have to realize the time they spent shipping it so they must have shipped it the day it was packaged or the day after for me to get it that quick so uh, very impressive beer uh, like I said being 7.2 percent as tasty as it is I would buy this beer guys uh, uh, it is uh, worth picking up if, uh, if you like a nice hot forward pale ale so if you've had this the born yesterday pale ale the 2019 one hitter series uh, let me know what you think. 
I find it very tasty. So uh, let's go take a look and see what's in the fridge tomorrow.